Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Indispo Mind podcast for Friday, January 22nd, 2015. Excuse me, 16. 2016. Jeez Louise. You think I'd be used to saying 2016 by now? You think, you think, you think. <sighs> well, Sierra's still missing. They're doing a candlelight vigil for her. Uh, tonight it's 7, so I will probably take part in that. Just pause in what I'm doing, say a prayer for her, light a candle, that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, in my management class last night, we got the... We got the rubric, the rules, the uh, requirements for the big paper that we got to write in that class. And, you know, the teacher made a point of saying this is this is a signature, signature uh, assignment. You know, every section of this class, whether it be online or on ground or blended or what have you, has to do this, and I'm thinking, why is she going through this whole rigmarole? And the, the upshot was, you know, she didn't develop it. You know, don't blame her. She'll be grading them, but she didn't come up with what the specifications were for this. And, you know, so this assignment, we're, we're, we're basically, we're picking, and, we're, and this is one of these things where you're, you're, you're in groups. So we got, I, we're in a group of three people. We had to pick two leaders. We had to pick one from the 20th, from the early 20th century, and we had to pick one from the later 20th century or possibly into the 21st century. And we were given a list. And we're supposed to be evaluating leadership qualities, and, and I don't know if the teacher developed the list of, of people to pick from. I kind of think she did. Some of them were like, you know, could you find information about their leadership qualities? Uh, like one of them, there was, um, I forget her name, but this anthropologist that uh, went to Samoa and New Guinea and wrote books back in the 30s. You know, does, does she have a leadership style? Are you going to be able, I mean, I don't know. But there was just some of the people on this list, and you got presidents and things like that, that where it's going to be very easy to get going to be very easy to get information about, about how they how they led and other people that are not so easy. So, yeah, I, I you know, it was a little bit of... So we had to pick them, and, and it's one of these things where we're going to write individual papers, but then we got to merge them together in for a group presentation. So, my group picked, we picked Teddy Roosevelt, uh, and that was actually my suggestion because I said he's, he's just got all you know because he led men into World War One. He was obviously president, so you know there's there should be a wealth of information about good old Teddy Roosevelt and his leadership style. And the other one we chose uh, was Nelson Mandela. Um, and we thought it'd be interesting because obviously Nelson Mandela was big into nonviolent change and you know Teddy Roosevelt was the walk softly and carry the big stick kind of guy so he was you know not afraid of violence he he used violence when needed he actually enjoyed hunting um, he was a big game hunter and all that so violence was something he was familiar with so but the paper is a bit beefier than I would than I than I really expected and and like so we got so basically we got to talk about these two the leadership styles of these two and the compare and contrast um we also thought it'd be interesting since they both became political leaders but different countries with different governmental systems and that might also make for some nice comparisons so but um 15 pages as i say are you freaking kidding me And, yeah, that was a bit longer than I wanted. 
Yeah, and to me, that's a bit longer than I thought it should be, personally. Um, this isn't a capstone course. You know, the only the only class where I've had to write a paper longer than ten pages was my IT capstone, and that was twenty five. And so what's getting me is we've got a couple other small papers that are due for this class that haven't, you know, we haven't been assigned yet, but I know they're coming. And I'm pretty darn sure I've got to end, i got a big paper for my law class as well. So I might be, you know, and if that's 10 pages, and God, I hope it's no more than 10 pages... So yeah, there's writing, and I can do the writing, but boy, it's a lot of writing. And while I expected that it would be, I'd be doing, you know, a fair amount of writing this semester, you know, I certainly wasn't necessarily, you know, hopefully, you know, if they come in, if they, if, if law class comes in with a 15-page paper too, then I'm, I'm basically writing a 30-page paper between the two classes, plus some. I mean, it just does I just got done writing a, a three-page paper, and there's like four, I don't know if they're all going to be papers or not, but there's four other assignments that are like that, um, and maybe they'll all be, you know, but, but let's say worst case scenario, they're all three-page papers, you know, so I've got, so that's 15 pages right there split up into five assignments, of which I've already done one. You know, plus another 15-page paper, plus these other assignments. We got the first switch yesterday, and for that one, we got to write, looks like, about a page. We got to read something. There's three questions, and we got to do about a paragraph or so on each question. You know, so about a page or two. You know, so... Yeah, it's... It can be a lot of writing. You know, good thing is, is that writing is in my wheelhouse. Some of the people were, like, really freaking out. Like, 15 pages? I've never written it. I don't understand how some of these people have gotten this far. I mean, this is a 453 is the number on this. Management 453. And, like, there's this one woman that's just next to me. She's like, she's never written a paper like that. I'm just thinking, well, who, you know, there was a comp class I had to take where we had to do a 10-page a paper. I think it was 10 page. Maybe that was 15 too. I don't know. I think it was 10. I think I came in over actually. But I think the requirement was for 10. You know, and I'm just thinking, you know, and I've done, you know, I did the big one for the IT capstone. Obviously, not everybody's doing that one if they're not in the IT program, but there's been, I think for my first finance class, I had to do a 10 page paper. And I think there was I think there was something else that I had to do a ten page paper for. My ESPN app is going nuts because the Cavaliers just released their coach, so except I don't care about basketball, so there. What do I care? So yeah, I guess that's what I'm thinking about today. I'm thinking about the term papers. I'm actually heading to the college to talk to uh, a counselor. Um, I'm actually at the college. Here I am. Here I am. Um, so I'm also going to hit the library and, and grab a couple books that uh, I can start to use for the big turn paper. And yeah, it's due in seven weeks, so. Sooner started, sooner finished, kind of thing. But I guess I will let that be that. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I think I've got an errand I need to run. So I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>